you're not paying child support, and you've not been in contact with front of the court, there's probably a really, really, really good chance there's a bench warrant out for your arrest. Is there any way that we can work on something that we're not doing no jail time, please? This case has a monthly support obligation of $58 per month. Your Honor, nobody has that money right now until the 21st when my girl gets her taxes. Your Honor, I do need some help. I don't need any more jail time. If I stay in jail, Your Honor, I'm going to lose my home. I'm going to lose my son. I can't. You said you have no home. You're just renting a hotel, Mr. Bustle. And you're not <laughs> going to lose your son. The only home that I, that's the only home I got. I can't lose that. I can't lose my son. You only live a couple miles away. You could be into the court. Walk. You come into the courthouse. Your Honor, I cannot walk. I am dealing with a split testicle. The court will call the case of Heaven Lambert versus Joshua Bustle. And case number uh, 2019 dp For the record, Mr. Bustle this morning is appearing via Zoom from the Monroe County Jail, having apparently been arrested on a, a bench warrant issued the request of the front of the court. Also appearing this morning is the Monroe County Front of the Court Attorney Rebecca Hicks. Good morning, Ms. Hicks. Good morning, Judge. Mr. Bustle, uh, can you please uh, state your name and current address for the record? Joshua Bustle. Um, I just recently currently moved. I'm not familiar with the address at this time, but I know it's room right off of Welcome Way, off of uh, right across the street from Travel Lodge at Days Inn. Okay, so you're living at the, in a motel? Yes, I have no other choice. I got evicted from where I was before to now I'm in this motel and if I'm trying to keep it to where I can have a stable place to live. Okay. Do you have any uh, pending criminal charges? Uh, not at this time because this one was just a, when I got pulled over last night, the officer told me that this was the only warrant that showed up and okay. it okay. kind of shocked me. To be honest with you, it shocked, it shocked me. I thought I had all my court proceedings taken care of. Well, I, and I'm not sure why I would shock you, Mr. Bustle. If you have a, an obligation to pay child support and you're not paying child support, and you've not been in contact with front of the court, there's probably a really, really, really good chance there's a bench warrant out for your arrest. So I'm not sure why you, you would be surprised. Well, I thought I was, I, I'm sorry, I thought I was getting everything caught up with all my court hearings okay. i thought i was literally caught up that could have been my learned disability i could have forgot not forgot but it could have just i thought i did i probably just didn't make a payment i think that's what it is well and even if you're disabled and you're unemployed you can't take the front of the court they'll work with you mr boss but when you ignore an obligation sit in your hands bench warrants issued and miss six can you I, um Provide the court some basic information in terms of the rearages, last payment made, and so forth? Certainly, Your Honor. Um, this case has a monthly support obligation of $58 per month. The last payment received was June 2nd of 2022 for $50. The current balance is $1,886.90. Um, Your Honor, Mr. Bustle was just incarcerated in December of 2022. On December 12th, um, you found him in contempt of court. It was a first finding. He was sentenced to seven days immediate jail, so he has a 38-day balance. Um, I, I was also time, in... Your Hold Honor, on, just a minute, Mr. Bustle. Oh, at sorry. that time, he was ordered upon his release to report to the friend of the court, pick up the jobs list, and apply oh. for employment prior to the next hearing. And I then did. it's the next hearing that he failed to appear at which was on February 7th. In between the hearing he missed and when we actually requested a bench warrant, he did find himself back in the jail. However, he was released from the jail again prior to the bench warrant issuing for him. He did not come to the front of the court. He has not made a payment. He has not had contact with his caseworker, Mark Grumman, um, regarding missing the hearing. So the bench warrant actually just issued for him, Your Honor, last week. Okay, right. now I understand. Okay, okay. Uh, Mr. Bustle, it wasn't that long ago uh, that you were before this court in December. I was 
in the three months ago. Yes, I I was just in the process of moving, and I must have forgot because I packed up everything, my calendars and my appointment book and everything. I must have forgot that I had another appointment. That is totally my fault. Um, is there any way that we can resolve this to where I can get home today to where I can have this resolved immediately to where I can have some type of contact information to reach out to somebody that would help me with my disabilities? Well, Mr. Bustle, you've ignored the front of the court since December. Would, you were supposed to, you were given a notice to in February. Let's assume, let's assume you lost the paperwork. Okay, that's understandable. Why couldn't you come into the front of the court and say, you know what, I just want to touch base with uh, everyone. Even if there was a bench warrant issue and you appeared, we would have canceled the I bench should. warrant. But uh, you've totally ignored this obligation and you've not made any fault. payments since June. <laughs> Of 2022. I had no income. I have no income. How do, how do you support your? Are you just first of all? Are you disabled, Mr. Bustle? I'm mentally disabled, but I don't receive disability. Okay. Disability. Have you checks. applied for Social Security? I'm trying, but I don't com I can't comprehend the paper. Okay. I barely can well, read. If you if you come in and talk with a friend of the court, your caseworker, they they'll give you a, 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 a list of uh, employers or screen for employees, and they can help you find a job that will uh, 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 tolerate your disability, alleged disability, Mr. Boss. Well, you've ignored this obligation; you've done nothing. So, how do you currently support yourself? Public assistance. My fiance is helping me, trying to get back All on right. my feet. Good. That's how the much only support I got left. Okay. Well, so do you receive any public assistance or your, your, your fiance is I got, you? I got state insurance. Right, I what mean, about income? Do you receive any public, do you receive uh, uh, unemployment? If gives me, if, no, it just, if somebody gives me a cleaning job, somebody that will give me something that I can clean or something to do, then I can work. But Every time I put an application in, nobody hires me. I don't know what the deal is. So I'm going to go down through another temp service and see if I can do that again. Well, the front of the court, and I'm once again, battling cancer. Mr. Bustle, we went through this in December. Once again, the front of the court is yeah. a four page list of employees that are screened for employees. I can get a job today at Michigan Bar yeah. washing dishes. I, can you do that? Oh, you know what? I remember that list. You're right. I remember that list because I do have that list somewhere. But I remember you handing it to me, not you directly, but I remember getting it from you guys. Well, the front of the court updates it every month. So when you get out of jail, you need to come over to the front of the court and get a copy of that list and, and get a job. Yes, There's some jobs you should be able to do with your disability. It's um, hard with my disability. It's really hard. And especially when I barely can read. Well, there's jobs that you don't need to read. Like say washing dishes, Jack's Lawn Service uh, is looking for people. Any event, uh, get that job list. All right, um, so um, your fiance or your girlfriend can post a bond on your behalf, is that correct? No, she she can't post bond. She don't have that kind of money. We just recently moved. We just spent about, let me think, about $300, $400 just in, she just spent, not me. She did just in an apartment. And then we just got kicked out of there and we just, my I had to get help from my dad to get a motel room because we had no money. Okay, can your dad post a bond on your behalf? My dad's broke. Okay. I mean, well, how much would it be? I mean, it, it, I'm trying to come up with ways that would be able to help, but if I can get out today, that would help out big time because technically I was supposed to have my visit today with my son, Junior. And well, I'm in here unless you can post a bond, Mr. Bill. Boss, that's not going to happen. You need to, your uh, actions speak louder than your words. You keep saying, I'm going to do this and do this. You've done nothing since your last in court in December. You have 38 days hanging yeah. your head. So the court's going to pose a, a, some additional jail, but you can post a bond if you're going to be out of jail. But when you get out of jail, Mr. Uh, Bustle, you need to stop in front of the court, get a, a list, talk with your caseworker. They can help you. Come if, on, in fact, please. you're disabled, please. and you uh, let the uh, your caseworker know that. Uh, please, apply for Honor, public I assistance. Your Honor, I do need some help. I don't need any more jail time. If I stay in jail, Your Honor, I'm going to lose my home. I'm going to lose my son. I can't. You said you have no home. You just rent a hotel, Mr. Bustle. And you're not <laughs> going to lose your son. The only home that I, that's the only home I got. I can't lose that. I can't lose my son. 
Okay. Well, you're not going to lose your son. Yeah, Miss Six, do you have any questions of Mr. Bustle? Here. No, Your Honor, Nobody I have no additional have... questions. Nobody right, can uh... afford that bond. Mr. Bustle, once again, all you had to do is keep in contact with the front of the court. We'd work with you, but you've ignored things. Yeah, the only I time we get we, we see you is when you're picked I'm up on a not bench warrant. ignoring work. nobody. How dare you? You have stolen my dreams. Why are you sitting here saying that I'm ignoring you guys? I'm not. I don't okay, receive Mr. Bustle, nothing. Mr. Bustle, why don't you why don't you why don't you just appear personally before the front of the court sometime since December? I've been trying, but okay, I'm having family cancer and a tumor inside of my testicles. Okay. All then. Okay. I barely you're, out, you're out driving around in a vehicle last night. Right, Could you come to the car. courthouse? It's not my car. All right. All right. Uh, Mr. Bustle, adopts you're, you're not, uh, not very convincing to this court. Ms. Uh, Hicks, what's your recommendation? Your Honor, the friend of the, the court would recommend... 38 days jail, seven days immediate credit for today. Um, as according to the jail website, 316 is his, the rest date um, or $500 bond to be released without serving the remaining six days. And then a return date of May 16th at 8 a.m. on my Zoom. I can't do no right. more jail time. Well, here, I cannot here's the deal. afford it. Mr. Bustle, if you can just reach out to your fiance and your dad, if they can put together five hundred dollars, you'll be released today. You can be home for they dinner. Don't got that money, Your Honor. I don't know how many my times I got to tell you. My brother was just in an accident. My dad don't have that kind of money. I just recently moved. I got no money. I'm broke. I understand. I've been. My fiance is not going to get money until the twenty seventh, and that's why either the, not the twenty seventh. The 21st, she just filed her taxes and she said that she's going to help me with making a down payment for my child support. All right, Mr. Bustle, you could have avoided putting yourself, you put yourself in this position by ignoring this obligation, ignoring the front of the court, not appearing on February 7th. Even if you lost the paperwork, I understand that. You could have checked with the front of the court saying, hey, I just want to make sure that uh, everyone knows what, what's going on. I have, I'm having a problem. I've got some disability problems. I don't have the income, but I'm just checking in with the front of the court. That could avoid been, you being in the situation you're in. I've been Is there anything you want to say before the court imposes a sentence? I've been trying to call you. been trying to reach out to you guys. My phone how is did you not do that? working. Okay, Mr. Bustle, my, how, did you, how did you reach out to the front of the court? Tell me. I tried to call repeatedly. Okay. My phone has been having technical difficulties. There's come two into the courthouse, sir. Guard. You only live a couple miles away. You could be I into the court. Walk. You come into the courthouse. Your Honor, I cannot walk. I am dealing with a split testicle. All right, all right, Mr. Bustle. The court's going to follow Miss Six's recommendation. This is the sentence the court's going to impose. I'm not going to impose it the full 38 days, which I could. Because you got 38 days you have had. The court's the sentence is that you um, order to serve. Uh, seven days immediate. You give him credit for the one day you have served. So that's six days in jail, but you can be released immediately upon posting a $500 cash bond. So uh, if you can post that this afternoon or tomorrow, uh, otherwise you serve six days and you'll be released, Mr. Bustle, and you're uh, ordered to appear before Miss Six of the front of the court on May 1st. I'm sorry, you said May 16th? Yes, Ms. Your Six? Honor, at 8 a.m. May 16th, 2023 at 8 a.m. Uh, now we're going to put this in order. We're going to email over to the jail. You get a copy before you release but when you get out of jail, come over to the front of the court. Get a copy of that four-page job list. Talk with your caseworker. Let them know that the, the, the physical problems you're having. And if, as long as you appear in May 1st, you'll not go back to jail. You hold the key to the jail, Mr. Bustle. Is there any way that we can work on something that we're not doing no jail time, please? I cannot um, afford jail time. I need to get back to my son. I can't lose him. When you come back on May 1st, we can talk about that, Mr. Bustle. Okay. But again, this is reach out to your fiance. Maybe between your fiance and dad, they can come up with five hundred dollars. You can apply toward your rear. It's not going to find the cost. You can apply to your rear. Nobody has that. On your honor, nobody has that money right now until the twenty first when my girl gets her taxes. Okay, maybe she's got a have, sister or other party they can reach out to. That's the sense of the court, no Mr. Family. Russell. She, she's an only child. The court hears you, Mr. Russell. But that's the sense of the court. I don't got a lot of support anymore. Right, we're, 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 we're done arguing, Mr. Bustle. Mr. Bustle, we're done arguing. You put yourself in this position, no one else but yourself. You could avoid it by simply appearing when required, keep contact with the front of the court. Right, with that, that will conclude this hearing. Come on, there's so many stuff like
All right, thank you. Thank you, officer. Yeah, for not being a walkie, we ran out of that jail cell pretty quick, didn't he? Pretty agile. Yeah, yes, he did, Your Honor. <laughs>